for you. Give a round of applause. Really, really good, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's... Competitively horseback ride, and I wasn't riding, I was actually just sitting, and I just had a shoulder pain, and I thought that's weird, because I normally get injuries when I fall off a horse, but it was just kind of an instantaneous pain. And it just got worse over the weeks. It just got where I, I couldn't move my arm over my head or it got where I could move my arm a little bit but not very much further. And I didn't know what it was, so I went for an ultrasound and they said it was frozen shoulder, which I'd never even heard of before. And then I Googled it and they said it was basically because of all the scar tissue on the shoulder, I couldn't move it, so. Mm. Uh, did you try different therapies or anything? I tried hydrodilation. Um, you did? Yeah, where I got, I guess, an injection of a saline solution and steroid. Um, and they said that might break off the scar tissue, but it didn't. It made the pain a bit less, but I think that was due to the cortisone. Um, injection. Yeah, yeah. But it didn't improve the motion. No, unfortunately... Much easier. Yes. Yeah. Incredible, eh? Yeah, that's much better. Look at that, huh? Yeah, that's that's hard yay. to believe. Huh? Yeah. That's yay, yeah. Huh? No stickiness. No, yeah. back down. And that's it. Yeah, and it's real easy that way. Yeah, yeah, real easy real that easy. way. The side yeah. one is the tough one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, congratulations. Thank you. No, yeah. that's well, you have to say to all the people that are thinking about getting their life back and fixing their shoulders. I think they should do it. And type 1 diabetics, don't be worried, because mm -hmm. I was scared, because I'm yeah. type 1, and yeah. I worried about the stickiness. Yeah. It's been fine. Good. Okay.